A brand new car kills an automobile worker. Years later, a young boy named Arnie finds it in a yard and becomes obsessed with it. He does not know what it did to its previous owner, and it changes Arnie too. The movie begins in 1957 at a factory in Detroit, where a worker checks a red car. He opens the bonnet, but it accidentally falls on his hand, breaking his bone and causing major injuries. He receives medical treatment, and in the evening of the same day, another worker finds the car so attractive that he sits in it. He unknowingly throws cigarette ash on its seat. As the shift ends, the shift in charge hears music playing in a car. When he opens the red car's door, he finds the dead worker inside. The scene shifts to the present day, September 12, 1978, when Dennis comes to pick up Arnie for school. Arnie's mother scolds Dennis for honking the horn, and then Arnie comes running. He accidentally throws a garbage bag, but his mother does not scold him and quickly says goodbye after giving him lunch. Arnie shares in the car that he enjoyed playing Scrabble with his parents. He is a nerd and has never had a girlfriend, so Dennis thinks he should help him find one as they are soon going to high school. But Arnie is not popular at all in school and does not believe anyone would want to date him. He struggles to open his locker at school while Dennis talks with a classmate who likes him a lot. As she walks away, his friend tells him that there is a new girl at school who is very pretty. She soon passes by them, looking really attractive. Her name is Lee, and she gives a subtle smile to Dennis as she walks by. Meanwhile, Arnie still struggles with his locker, so Dennis helps him before leaving. After school, someone tells Dennis that Arnie is in the basement and that some boys are making fun of him. He quickly goes there and tells them to leave Arnie alone. But one of the boys takes out a knife and breaks Arnie's lunchbox. As Arnie and Dennis ask him to drop the knife, the guy throws Dennis aside and Arnie falls down after slipping on yogurt. They break his glasses too. At that moment, a boy brings Mr. Casey to the basement, who sends all the boys to the office except for the one with the knife. He is Rupperton, and when he shows the knife, Mr. Casey angrily takes him to the office to expel him. But an angry Rupperton tells Arnie and Dennis before leaving that he will get back at them. On their way back, Dennis drives Arnie home when Arnie suddenly asks him to stop the car because he sees a car in someone's yard. Arnie adores the broken junk car at first sight and asks the old man living there about its price. The old man sets a condition for selling the car. He will never bring it back here again as it belonged to his dead brother and he doesn't want it. Despite Dennis trying to stop Arnie from wasting the money he has been saving for school all summer, Arnie doesn't listen and gets ready to pay $300 for the junk car. The old man tells him that his brother named it Christine. Arnie's mother scolds Dennis and Arnie for bringing home such an expensive and broken car. Arnie wants to keep the car in the garage and asks his parents to help him get the paperwork to keep the car since he is 17. But they refuse, so he gets angry and goes to Darnell's junkyard. Darnell allows Arnie to park his car there and can repair it using materials from the junkyard. However, he tells Arnie that he knows the owner of the car killed himself in it. The facts about this car disturb Dennis, but Arnie just listens to the junkyard owner's instructions about not smoking in the junkyard. Dennis dislikes the owner's behavior, but he drops Arnie home, where his parents are already waiting up late. They begin scolding Arnie when Dennis starts his car to leave. A few days later, on October 9th, Arnie has repaired the car so much that it now looks much better. The junkyard owner appreciates that Arnie has done a fine job repairing it, but then he tells Arnie that he needs to do some cleaning at his home if he wants to continue repairing and parking his car in his junkyard. If he doesn't agree to do this, he will be thrown out. The following day in the library, Dennis and his friends spot Lee and bet Dennis to ask her out on a date. Dennis tries to talk to her, but she refuses, telling him that she is going on a date with someone else. That night, when Dennis goes to meet Arnie, he hears Arnie's parents scolding him for being out so late. He comes home late at night and barely sees them otherwise. Right now, he is leaving to do a cleaning job at the junkyard owner's house. When Arnie's mother asks Dennis about him, he tells her that he hasn't been with Arnie much these days. Moreover, they got Arnie the paperwork to keep the car from City Hall, and they learned that its previous owner died in the car due to carbon monoxide leakage. This disturbs Dennis and he goes to meet the old man to confirm what he heard about Christine. The old man tells him that not only did his late brother love Christine, but his five-year-old daughter also died in it. He never intervened in his brother's matters, but he only interfered when his brother's wife killed herself because 
His brother didn't love anyone other than Christine, so he asked his brother to get rid of the car, but it came back a few days later. Dennis decides to destroy Christine, disturbed by the facts he learned from the old man. But as he secretly enters the junkyard to examine Christine, suddenly its radio starts playing music. It terrifies Dennis, and he jumps out of the junkyard's window without harming Christine. A few days later at a football match, Dennis is fully prepared to play for his team. As the game begins, Dennis watches Arnie parked in Christine, looking all fresh and new. What surprises him more is that he is with Lee. He loses focus on the game as he watches them kiss, and he falls down. Dennis gets severely injured, and when Arnie comes to see him in the hospital, Dennis tells him that he may never play football again and was this close to being paralyzed from the injury. Dennis wants to know why Lee likes Arnie, and he just laughs at the question, but he admits he is not getting along with his parents very well these days and leaves. That night, Arnie takes Lee out in Christine, and suddenly Lee feels odd sitting in it. She tells him it feels as if the car is jealous of her. She refuses to get back in the car and doesn't want to go anywhere with Arnie. Arnie accepts this, but since it is raining, she reluctantly sits in Christine to go home. She angrily slaps the car seat, which angers Arnie, as if he loves Christine more than anyone else. Suddenly, the car wipers stop working, and as Arnie gets out of the car to fix them, Lee picks up her burger to eat, but a bite gets stuck in her throat. She tries to breathe but can't. She attempts to open the door but fails, and then a man in the car parked next to them manages to get Lee out of the car and uses the Heimlich maneuver to prevent her from choking. Lee angrily reaches home, but tells Arnie he has to leave Christine if he wants her, because when the car door locked, Christine also played certain meaningful music as if she were alive. She can sense that she is jealous when they are close. Arnie tells her he will see her the next day and leaves. He takes Christine to the junkyard to park and then walks toward home. But he doesn't know that Rupperton and his boys are just waiting for him to leave so they can destroy Christine. They damage the bonnet, tear the seats, and even poop on the dashboard. The next day, when Arnie comes with Lee to get his wallet from Christine, he is devastated to see the damage and begins shouting at Lee because that's what she and everyone else wanted. He goes home and gets angry at his parents, believing that if they had let him park the car at home, it wouldn't have happened. In his anger, he uses curse words toward his mother. When his father tells him to apologize or he can't get away with it, Arnie grips his father's neck, terrifying him. His father is so afraid that he chooses to remain silent. Later, Arnie goes to the junkyard, knowing that Christine understands his emotions for her and senses that she is alive. He stands at a distance and tells Christine to show herself. In front of him, Christine begins reassembling its parts on its own and removing its dents. Within moments, the car looks as good as new. Afterwards, Rupperton's friend, who was an ally in destroying Christine, sees Christine on the roadside. He is amazed to see it looking new. All of a sudden, Christine comes toward him as if it wants to run him over. Realizing its intention, the boy runs and jumps aside. But once again, Christine follows him and he jumps inside a fence. Christine breaks through the barrier and reaches the boy who is hiding in a small space. Christine has to damage itself to enter the small space, but it does. The side of the car gets badly damaged, but it reaches the boy and kills him. Dennis is still in the hospital and sulks at Arnie for barely coming to see him. Dennis mentions that he heard the bad news about some guys damaging Christine. Arnie burns with rage when Dennis reveals his suspicion that Rupperton and his gang must have done it. Arnie quickly leaves the hospital, and in the parking lot, he meets police detective Rudolph. The detective reveals his suspicion that Arnie may be connected to the murder of the boy, who was thought to have been killed by a car. His body was split in half. He asks Arnie how his car was damaged so badly when it looked so good, as if it had never had any dents. Arnie discovers that Lee told the detective about the strange behavior of this car. When Arnie reaches home, he calls Lee and asks to meet, but their call ends in anger. That night, Rupperton and his friends leave the liquor store when they notice that Christine is following them. They race their car and stop at one of their friend's gas stations, but Christine suddenly smashes into Rupperton's car. All of a sudden, gas leaks from the car and the gas station catches fire. 
Rupperton's friends burn in the blaze while he runs away down the road. Christine follows him, even though it is on fire, and then it runs over Rupperton, killing him. In a badly burned condition, Christine reaches the junkyard, where its owner is already present. He calls the police to report that Christine has just returned and then silently approaches it. He thinks that a thief is in the car and points his gun at it. But when he opens the door and looks inside, there is no one driving the car. He sits in it and the music begins playing. Suddenly, the car door shuts automatically and the seat shrinks so much that it kills him. Arnie does not know what Christine did last night. And when he arrives at the junkyard in the owner's caddy, he meets the police who tell him that the owner died last night while sitting in Arnie's car. They suspect that Arnie may have killed him, but he assures them that he was at home last night. Moreover, he shares that Rupperton and his three friends who destroyed Christine were killed last night as well. For now, the police detective stops him from using Christine. At the same time, Lee calls Dennis to meet him. She asks him to help her destroy Christine as she thinks Arnie's life is in danger. They agree and as she leaves his home, she sees from the roadside that Arnie has parked Christine in front of Dennis's house and picked Dennis up. Arnie looks angry and keeps drinking alcohol. He shows Dennis that if he leaves the steering wheel, Christine can drive on its own. It can drive as fast as he wants without an accident. Dennis feels terrified for his life and shuts his eyes. He tells Arnie that now no one can come between him and Christine as he loves this car more than anyone and anything in the world. The next day, Dennis scratches the words, Darnell's junkyard tonight, into Christine. That night, he jumps inside the junkyard through a broken window and opens the main shutter. Lee gets inside and they look around, knowing that Christine can come anytime to attack them because Dennis has damaged its surface. He sits in the big crane while Lee stands at a distance, waiting for Christine to come from outside. However, they don't know that Christine is hiding in the junk behind cardboard boxes. It rushes to attack Lee, but she dodges while Dennis uses the crane to create a barrier between her and Christine. He damages Christine's bonnet by banging into it, and then Lee hides in the office. Suddenly, the crane stops, breaking a wire, and after a moment, Lee sees Arnie sitting angrily in Christine, ready to attack her once again. But this time, as Christine strikes, Arnie falls out of it. He loves Lee and wants to save her, but Christine won't let him do that. A piece of glass gets lodged in his body and he dies. Suddenly the crane starts up again and once more Christine fails to run over Lee. Now Dennis smashes into Christine and strikes it with the crane to destroy it. But they see that Christine repairs itself moments after he smashes it. So he completely destroys it by running the crane over it. The next day, Lee and Dennis leave Christine's wreck in the junkyard with the detective. The movie ends here.